another episode of Morocco. Ooh, so guys, we're here back in another episode of Awesomeness where, of course, I'm winning the war. Not really a challenge. I really wish I could say that the Ethiopians and all these guys have really given it their all and have really, like, triumphed over me and have really have a chance here. But really, we're just kind of squishing them again. It's kind of sad. Just... Kinda. I, I mean, I, I don't really know what to say here. It's we're just the big bullies now, and really no one can stop us. On the brighter side, though, in the American region, we can almost—I think we can basically see the entire map now. I think there's positively almost nothing that's not known to us, which is nice. So we can kind of see the Inca right now, who are guaranteed by Portugal. Are they still? They're still South American tech group. I. Oh. You know, do you guys still have gold? <laughs> I, I hate to be asking this, but do you guys still have gold? Because I feel like you guys need to be conquered. Because if I have a colonial... Do I have a colonial? No, I don't. Okay, if I, I was about to say, if I had colonial conquest against you guys, I would so use it. Like, seriously. In an instant, I would so use it. So, anyways, guys, we have... All this kind of jazz happening right now. We had the Battle of Gondor happen! I love... That is probably the best... Uh, Ethiopia, just want to talk to you guys seriously, whoever's Ethiopia fans, that is probably the best capital name ever. I don't know, I'm probably JR Token meant that intentionally, by some philosophical means he meant that, but still, that is probably an awesome name. And, yeah, may the white city never fall, except for, to the powers of my army! Oh, and then we're gonna move right there, and then that army's the way right there. We have 2k right there. Yeah, they're, they're done. So, basically in this war, I think what I want to steal is basically I want to try to finish off a lot of these little tiny things. I think, uh, 50%, 2%, yeah, get the base tax, are you kidding me? Base tax is always a better idea. And my manpower doesn't even matter anymore, I have so much manpower. Okay, and I should not take the diplomatic stuff. Because I actually will be using the diplomatic stuff to do peace deals. This usually this usually messes me over because I usually forget about that. And I'm usually like, oh yeah, I, I have to do a peace deal. But this time I remembered, so it's all good. For the majority of the of the months, I feel like I'm just gonna win this. So, but anyways, I think for I think for the Mamelukes, I don't think I'll be able to take everything from them. But what I want to take from them is I want to take Negan. Uh, Quenta and Quenta. Those two places right there. Why? Mainly because I want to make sure that they're kind of isolated and almost completely destroyed. Plus, I want to kind of, I want to kind of take this region because the next thing I'm going to take from Ethiopia is probably these three regions right here. And maybe one of these regions over here too. I don't really know. But because I want to make sure I'm kind of level, I'm kind of having a border with Fuji or Fungi. That way I can like do more damage to them. Oh man, you guys are going to aggravate me to no end. Oh, don't tell me no, no, no! Don't do the eternal walk of. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's that's another reason why I have to kind of link up my land because. Okay. You know what, you guys, go crush these guys and then come back. Okay. I'll allow just this once, just so you guys just go chill out and go crush these guys. But go do that, please. <laughs> That's so lame. So boring. And it seems like we have a free advisor slot. I don't even know what we're kind of supporting right now, but I'm assuming it's good things. So, gonna get, a, gonna get a third government official. Yeah, I think we're doing two, two, two. So, third government official and get 10% in all trade. I don't really want to do this. And I'm not going to do this. So, we have a couple of our sieges breaking. Most of the Mamelukes land is breaking pretty easily. I mean, not Mamelukes, Omanians. And I just trapped their fleet. <laughs> oh, this is, this is what you get for destroying my fleet. And guess what? These are all 27 heavies. So this is... Yeah, against your army, you're basically gonna mess up. I mean, you do have a better morale than the Portuguese had, which I'm actually pretty shocked. I, that actually deserves some credit right there, because not many nations, especially, I would say, Middle Eastern or Muslim tech group nations, have like a 6.5... Uh, tech group like that. That's pretty amazing, but still It's not amazing enough. I'm going to destroy you pretty hardcore And you guys are gonna watch as I slowly but surely destroy your empire It seems like they actually did get a little bit of a army going right over there on the Gaza Strip 
Not really too much of a worry though for me because, well, obviously I'm not really like, well, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't feel like it has to be said, okay. But yeah, so just keep crushing everything. We're just, one by one the cities will fall. I mean, literally one by one, all the cities will fall. You guys, finish up what you guys are doing. You guys are going to go crush all those two armies to make sure. Probably going to have to deal with some swally patriotism for a little bit. It's going to be a little bit annoying, but eh, that's fine with me. I, I don't, I, I deserve it because like, I wasn't paying attention and I know I wasn't paying attention. So, yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, the battle of Lampushu. Unless these guys can seriously move quickly. Oh, you, wow! Oh my goodness, the rebels did not break the fort? Damn! Those, those like, defenders deserve, like, a gold medal. Like, do we make gold medals? Yeah, I'm gonna make that a thing. We're gonna make gold medals for our country, because... Oh, wait, no, no, could. Phew. I was like, no, don't move. Uh, lose piety. We're losing piety right now. Because we love lose piety, because we love our, our tech growth. Okay, and right now, we're getting very close to get the next economic idea, which is build costs, costs less, which I like that. Once... Build costs cost less. That's gonna be nice. Seems like we got another rebellion. Not really too big of a deal, but yeah, I can't believe those defenders, man. Those defenders. That's gonna be like one of those epic last. Those are gonna be like one of those epic moments of like Tom. No, like a Tom's. Uh, I can't think of the director's name. I'm think. I'm keep thinking in my head Tom Cruise, but I'm pretty sure it's not Tom Cruise that make those like epic last stand movies where like the hero. You know, has to go through a lot and has to go through all these cool, you know, you know, the hero has to go through a lot and then, you know, he has to grow, you know, he has to do all these, like, cool stuff and the, the enemy keeps bringing more and more at him, but the hero just never breaks. What kind of movies are those called? Oh, and another yearly in, in on inflation. With two of those, I should be successfully able to make sure I never have inflation ever again in my country. That's gonna be nice. If I make sure I can never have inflation in my country, that would be nice. Plus, now that I have even, it costs even less to build buildings. How much does it cost me? Oh my goodness, it costs. The temples used to cost forty. Oh my god, I I literally am just paying my entire government for nothing. Okay. 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 These guys are starting to annoy me just a little bit. Okay, you don't break yet. Don't break yet. I'm gonna go destroy it for you. But. Yeah, I'm gonna go have this army go be brought over here so that it can go help fight off all this. Ethiopia is starting to aggravate me just a little bit. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die! Oh! Right when reinforcements arrive, too. Seriously, guys. Seriously. And apparently, this is. Oh, yeah, these are the guys that traveled all the way across. Oh, gosh. Okay, go back all the way to here. Man, that's so stupid. Like, seriously, this is why it's gonna be hard managing my empire. I need my empire being completely connected. Kill we, I really, you gotta lose a lot more of your land because, like, I really do need a lot of this. Seriously. I need a lot of this. Okay, you guys go right here. Alright, you guys are always sieging. Okay, you guys go right there. You guys finished up the siege, so that's good. And then let's go siege down here. I can get a new technology. Uh, trade efficiency, trade efficiency. I really don't. Before I gain, before I do any of this, I want to make sure I uh, get the peace deal I want. And this is the only reason why I haven't done any diplo tech yet. If people are wondering, it's because I really just don't want to, you know, mess this up and mess up my trade I want to do. So you guys just move right there because you guys are gonna, you guys are kind of idiots. You're lovable idiots, but you're kind of idiots. So once I get all what I need. I'm going to be happy, but I need to make sure I get all what I need in this war. So, let's go start. I could probably start massive sieging. I don't really care too much. These are pretty non-good soldiers, and I'm pretty sure I'm just kind of delaying the inevitable. I'm just kind of delaying the inevitable. We know I'm going to win this. It's just, I'm. it's taking me a little bit. Okay. And let's see. I have to siege that. I'm waiting until these couple of these sieges finish over here. When one of these sieges done. No, it wasn't one of these. I don't know where I just got another rebellion from. 
Okay, these three sieges finished. Alright, that means I could probably peace out Ethiopia. No, no. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. There we go. Alright, I just want this, this, and this from you guys. Okay, it's gonna be 45 over extension, that's fine. Get one that we can like. Oh, Fuji's not one of my vassals, so I know all treaties with Oman are protected. I don't want you to become my protector, but I know all treaties with them. There we go. Alright. Um Let's start coring some of these. And yeah, this is now that we got officially all of our land mostly united on most of the fronts, it's making our land look a lot prettier, I should say. Alright, and then you guys go back combine with your other soldiers so I don't forget which one what army you guys are part of. You guys go back over here, so don't forget what army you guys are part of. You guys go over there. Fuji has formed a military coalition against us. Well, good job. You guys know what I'm after. Good. You guys are not idiots. Okay. Mamelukes, you guys are ready to be kind of pieced together. Wait, can I just take the entire land? No. Okay, we'll just take Negan and those two. That should be enough. Could, could I just like flatly just make him my vassal just to make my life a lot easier for overextension reasons? Because I'm about to lose another vassal, so yeah. You know what? Let's just make these guys our vassal just so I don't have to deal with the uh, overextension at this point in time. Okay, and then let's have you guys group out. And then finally, Oman. I'm not going to forget this time. I am literally staying di diligent to make sure I did not forget these two pieces of land right here. I'm not forgetting this time. I'm not forgetting, because I really do need that. Okay, let's go right here. And let's gain these two providences. All your gold. And... I almost would say force my religion onto you, but apparently you guys aren't ready for that. So let's see, let's just try to start getting a little bit closer to the... Um... Persians, just a little bit. Um, actually, I don't really want to move in anymore this way because this just provides more land for them to kind of come in at. So let's just go right there. Oh, that's actually too much. Uh, yeah, this is all too much. Just yeah, just keep just keep what we have right now. Just keep what we have right now. Um, yeah. Okay, send a man. There we go. And that's how you finish a war, baby. <laughs> so now, we have officially two... You guys, you guys are now the guardians of, like, a lot of land. So now you guys go right here. Let's see, where are the sieges right now for... Oh, wait, yeah. We should probably group up all you guys. So we have less of a... Why are you just patrolling... Go right here, my massive fleet. Yeah, I don't like all these little tiny fleets, so let's start dealing with them. Alright, let's see. And you... you guys can go right there. Yeah, so anyways... Now that we took all that land, that means we have a ton of... Just... <laughs> cores we're gonna have to do, but I believe it's gonna be worth it because... We have a lot to do, and we can start improving relationships with our good friends, the Mamelukes, who were our enemies, but now are our friends, due to how nice and benevolent we are as rulers. But they will slowly see the light of how good our empire is. And now, since they're out of the coalition, who is in the coalition against me right now? Let's see, view country. Yes, I have one more diplomatic relation than I usually should. I should be actually fin I could actually, let's see, is there anyone I can kind of get away with right now? Mongols. Oh, I have a Mongols military access right now. Why do I still have that? Okay, Mongols. Ah, dang. Give me one second. I'm going to cancel that because that's just stupid. Why do I still have a military access with the Mongols? The Mongols are almost eaten up by Persia. Whoa. I just look over there and all of a sudden Persia just like gobble gobbled up all the all the Mongols. I think the, Mo I think the Mongols are done. They, they had a good run for a little bit, but, like, I think they're now done, so. 
Good to see Hardy Seaman. Yeah. So we're going to keep. Yeah, we're gonna keep that mil the military tactics. Wow, we're doing so good. But like, our morale right now for Navy is so dang good. Like, you guys don't even know how hard it is to get this like good in the in the game to get this good of like Navy. Or for those of people who have gotten this good, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's so hard to get this good in this game to this point, especially for Navy. And I should have been checking also like what was our um. Who were the nations that hated us right now? And the coalition against me was Ethiopia, Fungi, uh, Kilwi, uh, Hedges. Okay. So if I wanted to go to war against all three of those nations, it would probably have to be all at the same time. So potentially I could end up at war with Ethiopia again, but then I wouldn't be able to go to war with them for a very long time. That kind of stinks. Alright, that really does kind of stink. I mean, seriously, I wanted to fight a little bit more before that happened, but it seems like the game is literally telling me that they don't like how fast I'm expanding, and they're like, yeah, you should stop expanding this fast, it's stupid, yada yada yada, I hate taxes, so, uh, I'm just going to bypass that and just ignore it and just declare war on Fuji anyways. Literally, I have my army right there waiting for them, so. It won't be too big of a deal. Plus, I have literally two armies, literally right there. I mean, I literally have lots of armies just spread out around my empire. Like, just look around my empire and you'll be like, Oh, there's an army. Oh, there's an army. Oh, there's an army. And now since I have already figured out all my diplomatic stuff, I'm going to get blockade efficiency up by 50%. And then the next one will finally finish off all the diplomatic naval ideas. Which then, we will finally get ships repair my sea zone, which I believe will help us out a lot. You know, I really don't need prestige right now, so yeah, give me more money. Yes. If you, if you need to give me a present, guys, please just give me more money. Oh, tax modifier. That even, oh my goodness. I'm making so much money. Money. Like, I, I seriously, we'll have money in the bank. Like, oh my goodness. Just money, money, money. There, there is literally nothing we cannot buy in this world. I mean, literally, we are, we are more restricted by the fact that I don't have enough points and the fact we don't have enough money. That is amazing right there. That is just hardened amazing. So, yeah, I, I feel... I love this campaign right now. I just love it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so let's see. Fuji. Conversion successful. We actually did a conversion? What? Oh yeah, we had conversions going on. <laughs> I completely forgot we were trying to do some stuff for like um uh religion. So let's see, Fuji. You guys, I know you guys hate me, and I know we're gonna have a bad time liking each other. But what I think I might do is actually just go in and maybe puppetize these guys first. Uh yeah, we could do that. Losing a thousand gold to me is actually no big deal. It's surprising. Okay, so who has a disputed succession right now? Just curious. Bruni, you guys are the only ones in the entire world with a disputed succession. This little... Oh, wow, Castile, you're being a jerk. But Bruni, the only country, the only country in the world that's having some type of problems. That is amazing. Like, man, the, the Europeans are just being jerks to everywhere in here. Like, literally. Okay, yay! Good job, Mama Luke's. You guys love us now. Yeah, you see? See? My Sultan, the Hungarians have broken off the alliance with us. Oh, uh, yeah, the Geor Georgian nationalists will do that. I'm not really paying attention to that sector. Probably should. Yeah. Guys, go hunt. Wait, first combine. Then go hunt. Yeah. I'm probably also... Apparently, I lost some soldiers in that... So, probably gonna have to build some soldiers for these guys. I'll just build them right next to the equator. So, let's see. One, two. Let's see. Go to... Yeah, right there. I thought so. I have soldiers literally right there, though. Doesn't matter, guys. Doesn't matter what you guys try. I have everything figured out. The only thing that's still kind of iffy, though, is the fact I don't have... I don't have access to right here. Once I get through access through right there, I'm pretty sure I can manage all my rebels so effectively. And start expanding at a pretty rapid rate. Gain an animal with 50! Oh! Ooh. Okay. Okay. And with our final days, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to curse my luck for having an alarm clock. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Let's see, how good is this, like, ad oh my goodness, he's actually very good. Oh my goodness. And I also have a good general to dang. I feel like I just... Uh, you know what we're gonna have to do to make this all good? And I, I guess it's I guess it's kind of fitting because we basically are the only Sunni nation. I mean, literally, we've conquered almost all the other Sunni nations. I mean, there's like... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six other Sunni nations. Oh, I guess Brunei. Brunei. Oh gosh, there's more than I thought it was. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. No, wait. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. No. See you guys next time.